You probably have some type of vinegar in your food pantry. And while today it's mainly used as a food additive, it used to be very important throughout history. Hippocrates, who lived in the 5th century BC in Greece, used vinegar to treat the wounds of his patients. Hippocrates is famous also for the Hippocratic Oath. You probably have heard the famous phrase, first do no harm. Using vinegar on wounds was very important because in the past people did not have antibiotics, meaning that an infection could lead to an amputation or even death. Vinegar's antibacterial properties were also very important for preserving food. Without refrigeration, food would go bad quickly. However, if vinegar was added, food could last for much longer. If you have a jar of pickles made with vinegar, it can be preserved at room temperature for quite a long time. However, if you were to put cucumbers without vinegar in a jar, it would not last very long. Vinegar was first discovered thousands of years ago along with the discovery of alcohol. You see, vinegar is kind of a cousin of alcohol. The main component in vinegar, which makes it acidic and gives it its tarty taste, is acetic acid. The formation of acetic acid is very similar to the formation of alcohol. When certain yeasts are added to a sugary or starchy solution, the yeasts will convert the sugar into alcohol, but the alcohol will continue to be converted into vinegar if it's exposed to the air. This is why when wine is made or when other alcoholic beverages are made, the air is kept out. In the case of wine, a cork is added to keep the air out so that the wine does not convert into vinegar. Now the type of bacteria that can convert the sugars into alcohol and then to vinegar is called mother of vinegar. And these bacteria can form proteins that look like a skin inside the vinegar. Small nematode worms can actually eat these proteins and these are called vinegar worms. Ugh. But you probably won't see these in your vinegar because in the United States and many other countries, these proteins and vinegar eels are strained out of the vinegar and then the vinegar is pasteurized, heated quickly and then cooled quickly to kill off all the remaining bacteria. However, the mother of vinegar can return if the vinegar is left open to the air for a long time. Vinegar still has some important uses today. For example, vinegar is often added to jellyfish stings to stop the nematocysts, or stingers, from releasing more venom. Unfortunately though, the effectiveness of vinegar on a particular jellyfish called the Portuguese Man of War, also called the Floating Terror, is controversial because some studies show that adding vinegar to this jellyfish's stings can actually increase the amount of venom, so I wouldn't want to get stung by one of those jellyfish. Also, there are modern claims that vinegar has medicinal properties. Some of these claims include the ability to increase heart and brain function, dissolve gallbladder stones, and help prevent and treat cancer. These claims, however, are not accepted at large by the medical community. However, there was a study done that demonstrated that vinegar could decrease blood sugar spikes in people who didn't already have diabetes. Even if vinegar doesn't have these amazing medicinal claims that many claim it does, it can still be a good healthy food additive that is totally safe to consume. So don't be afraid of putting vinegar on that next salad you eat. Do you like vinegar? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and share it so others can enjoy it also. And be sure to subscribe to be up to date on all new video releases. Thanks for watching.